Hello everyone! Welcome to the 37th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to revit. This video will be an introduction to lighting for revit. Now, this is just a crash course video on how it works and how it adds mood and ascent to your model, how it makes them more appealing when used correctly and as minimal as possible, as you've seen here in our revit and some of the Enscape image renders. For now, we will focus on Revit and I will be doing a separate video for the Enscape lighting tutorial. First, we will go through with basics such as color temperature, luminance, and beam angle. Now, color temperature is the color of the light emitted from the source and they are measured in kelvins. With that in mind, for good visual comfort, light needs to have the right color and quality. The higher the color the value, the bluer it will be. Here is a visual example of how it will be, how it ranges from the color of a candlelight to a blue sky. And let's do a quick one over here. If you click this family here, go to edit type, scroll down a bit, look for the initial color. Right now, it's measured in 6.5K. And here alone, we've got a color preset. We've got what's going to be looking like over here. If I were to change to quartz, for example, it's going to from blue to yellowish. Now, let's try to custom. If I were to make this 1000 and press OK, unfortunately, 1800 is the lowest. So let's give it a try once more and press OK. There we go. As you've seen, the difference. Next, we'll go for luminance. Now, in luminance, that can be quite descriptive, but to put it simply, it is the brightness output of the source. Here is a side-by-side -side sample of a low luminance versus that of a very high one. You can barely see the color of the wall and the door due to the high value of luminance it has, thus making the color temperature of the light the majority. Compared to the luminance of the left image, it brings a dramatic mood to the area. And as you've seen here in our image render, the luminance is too strong. Now, let's give it a change. Let's go back to the family right here. Go to edit type. Scroll down. You've seen the luminance is around 100,000 LM. If I were to change this to, let's say, let's just make it 400. Since there's plenty of lights for the step. Click OK. Go back here. Let's give it a render. Graph should be enough. Give it a few minutes. Notice how weak it is. If you see the wall, you can barely see any light. Let's give it a much more bright luminance here. Going back there. And this time, we'll use the medium graph. Sorry, the medium render. Give it a few minutes. This might take some time. Never mind. It's already finished. As you see, it adds a dramatic effect to the brick wall pointed from the step. Next is the beam angle. Beam angle is the measurement of the distribution of light. It's the angle in which the light spreads out from the source. These are measured in degrees. In short, a lower angle will give a concentrated light compared to a wider angle which gives a soft light. As you've seen here, we've got a double slot emission wall mounted light pointed up and down. As you see on the ground, it's concentrated to the grass. If I were to close this, you will see the light source coming from it. Let me render one more type of light from here. This one. Now, Let's do a small render of this in a draft mode. Now, the light should only be aiming at the wall. There. I'll also show a different example of a spot down light with a narrow optic beam angle. As you've seen here, if you look at the render compared to the Revit light source sample. Next, 
will be various beam angles from different light sources. In addition, a linear indirect luminar or a cove lighting you will see from the ceiling hidden above. With that in mind, I will show you a bit more about the beam angle or what's called an IES. Now, for the IES, I will be explaining more into that into the next video. For now, I will be showing a little bit more samples from beam angles. If you go to edit type, Revit itself has its own photometric web file of an IES folder, which is seen here. If I were to go to view, go to thumbnail, here you will see different types of beam angle provided from us to us by Revit. Sorry. Let's give it a sample. I will load something here to our step light, give it an OK, and you will see the difference. Now, let's render this in a draft setting and see what it's going to look like. You know what? Let's use medium. This might take a few seconds. There. Quite a big difference. If I zoom in here, you will notice that it's also hitting the riser of the step and a little bit of glow from the wall. It's a different type of mood and dramatic effect. Now, that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be going more into lighting along with IES loading and other sources of light from a website. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find or enjoyed this tutorial, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.